Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you a little bit how to attach items to a character. So we're going to be beginning our character equip um, mechanic. But for this we're just going to be using a sword for now. Because I'm not going to be equipping any other items to this character, it's just going to be a weapon. So when you animate your character you just want to animate them as normal. And when you set up your bone structure, you want to have bones for, um, yeah, for each set of bones, you just want a node. So if we go down here for right hand index, that'll be for that hand right here, that's going to be, um, we're going to be attaching the sword to. So you want to find the bone that's for the actual hand itself. So if we drag and drop our sword item, I just took my sword from in game and drug it on to right hand index of one. And that'll keep it locked to that area right there when it moves. So if you're attaching something like maybe a helmet, you would want to go through here and um, go through until you find where the head was that's connected. Same goes for shoulders, where the top of the shoulders happens, and you can also um, take the actual item and adjust it however you want. So for the sword, I could lift it up higher if I wanted or put it somewhere else. And the good thing about this setup is, if you animated the sword in-game, or not in-game, but um, in your animation software itself, you wouldn't be able to do stuff like have the sword like if you wanted the character to throw the sword somewhere like into the ground and have them walk over and pick it up you couldn't really do that with uh, animation so you always want to make those objects objects separate from your character because if you want to do different things like that maybe he lost his weapon maybe someone knocked it out of his hand and you want to run around until you run back and pick it up um, that would be the way to do it it wouldn't turn out too well if you did it in the animation it just wouldn't work that way so you always want to make those objects separate and just attach them to the bones in your game engine so that's how that is set up right now um, so depending on whatever animation is playing the character will always be holding the sword in that hand now another thing you could do is you could create a um, empty game object name it something like um, just like node one or something random like that put it onto the hand where the sword would be and you could create prefabs and swap out different weapons so maybe you equipped um, a sword but you wanted to equip a dagger instead you could swap that out delete this prefab and put the other prefab where that node is and that's the same way you would do it for any other item such as a helmet or armor or anything like that if you wanted to set up armor for your character. So hopefully in future tutorials I can cover different ways of actually attaching this to a GUI texture or a button and being able to, well a button would be really easy, you could just click on the button and it would swap out the different items depending on what button it is. So maybe I'll do that first before we actually um, cover more advanced inventory because we still have to take that previous inventory system and swap it out for buttons and make it so we can um, we can click on each one and equip an item or unequip it and different stuff like that. It gets really complicated after a while so hopefully I can figure out the rest of that stuff. I still haven't messed, messed with it too much but I kinda have to figure it out for my game in general for the equipment part. So yeah we can go in and take a look at the sword real quick and you can see with the animation the sword follows the uh... how we have it set up so it stays linked to that so it actually rotates with my character's movement so yeah that's a basic way of setting up armor for a character it really depends on how your bone structure is set up and how you want the items to appear attached to your character so you want to kind of think of head a little bit more when you're working with something like this because it might tur not turn out exactly how you want. Also I might add, sometimes with weapons, 
when you're exporting that node, sometimes you want the node to be down at the handle. For now, it works for my weapon, but for some weapons it might get a little bit messed up if it's a bigger or more elaborate weapon. So always in your game engine, or not game engine, uh, modeling software, you want to move that node down to the handle part where the character is going to be grabbing at. So that's pretty much the basics of setting up different armor equipment. So yeah.